I got this month's four key comics that I'm sending in to get graded. So if you want to know what they are, what I paid for them, and what my predictions for the grades will be, just stick around and you'll find out everything you need to know. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And those of you who are familiar or may not be familiar with this particular video, I made a deal with PGX. I don't get paid. I want to make sure I have that perfectly clear. But I did make a deal with them. I tried to call CGC and CBCS, but they never responded. So PGX was the only one kind enough to do it. Where if I put an ad in the video, like you saw in the beginning of this video, uh, they allow me to send in four books a month to get graded, pressed, dry cleaned, signature verification if it needs you, needs it, and even potential grader notes if they do remember. Sometimes they forget and that's okay. Um, but that gives me a good deal. But I also made sure I have a deal for you guys and gals out there. If you ever want to use PGX, all you have to do is if you send 10 books or more and use the code we love comics free press, you get one of the comics pressed for free. So please take advantage of that deal if you want to use that company. Of course, there's always CGC and uh, CBCS, but the deal is only with PGX. So whether you like them or not, I'll let you know. So let me show you the four books that I'm sending out this month. Um, I should be getting the, what is it, the September, August books coming uh, in the next week, week and a half. Uh, they've had a little bit of a delay, but that's okay. I don't pay for them, and I cannot complain. So let's get into what you're here for, and these are the four books. Now, this book I just showed recently. This is actually my second copy. This is a book I highly recommend to get if you uh, can find it. This is Rick and Morty number one, Pocket Like You Stole It, issue uh, number one with the Nerd Block variant. The reason this one's so special, it's a very rare book. Uh, this book was recalled before it ever published. So they say there's roughly about 50 copies or less in existence. Now, obviously, I can't confirm that exact number, uh, but it is definitely a book worth getting. Very expensive book, but you guys know me. I always end up finding deals. Uh, the other one I had came back, I think, a 9-6, and it was signed by Justin Roiland. This one's unsigned, but this one looks like it could be potentially a 9.8. Um, this book... They listed as a 0 0.5 of over $500. I paid less than half that, and this book could potentially be a 9.8. Um, I paid a total of $260.99. Uh, I haven't seen this book cheaper than $600, so if you can grab it for under $600, pick it up. Um, I'm going to predict roughly about a 9.4 to 9.8. Now, of course, a pressing could help this book. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Corners are sharp. The edges look great. But I want to make sure I undergrade just in case because you never know. Uh, the, but with white pages. So definitely a great book. And the only new book that I'm sending out this time. All right. This one has so much potential. This is another book I highly recommend uh, people to acquire if you can get it especially before this particular character right here, Dr. Doom, sees the light of day in the MCU. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number five. Um, there's no first appearance or anything here, but this is the first time that Dr. Doom did a crossover with Spider-Man or basically anybody else. Uh, this is definitely a key issue to get, especially once Dr. Doom ends up in the MCU. Probably won't see him for a couple of years, but that's okay. I'd rather them build it up than waste the character. Uh, this is an expensive book, but, you know, like I always say, low grade is better than no grade, so get what you can, and if you can find a deal, pounce on it. Um, I was lucky enough to get this a couple of years ago, and I only paid a total of $179.91, and of course that includes shipping and handling. Um, you're probably going to spend about 300 and up at this point, even for low grade, but don't be afraid to ask for deals. Um, in pretty good shape. You can see the colors look really well. The, the cover presents well. A uh, couple of minor ticks along the spines, uh, a little bit of dirt that looks like a dry cleaning could help it. I'm going to predict about a 3.5 to a 4.5 with off-white to white pages. So definitely another book I am looking so forward to getting back. All right, of all the books, I've been doing this almost once a month. Recently, it's been every month and a half. 
uh, for over about two years now, and there was only one book that I questioned the grade and took it out, and that is this book, and I'm going to now send it in to be regraded. Uh, this is Werewolf by Night 32, of course, the first appearance of Moon Knight. Uh, we all should know at this point that Moon Knight is getting his own TV show, and eventually he will get his own movie, so that's going to be better. I like that they're doing it that way because Moon Knight, I mean, unless you're a diehard comic fan, the average person is not going to know who he is, so a TV show will give more time to establish the character and get more people to know them before they do a movie. So I said that years ago, I thought that was a smart idea, and I'm sticking with that. Um, I paid a total of $209 for this book, and of course that includes shipping. Um, this book was graded at a 6.0. Um, I do not believe that this book is a 6.0, because it does have a couple of spine ticks. It's got a little um, color break increase right there. Um, I think it might be a little bit higher than what I'm saying it is. But I'm going to stay low just in case. I'm going to say, again, about a 3.5 to a 4.5. It could come back about a 5. That I could see realistically because it doesn't look bad at all. And you are allowed to have a couple of color-breaking ticks along the spine as long as it's not tearing everything up for a mid-grade. So, but it's definitely, in my opinion, not a 6. But we'll find out. Um... I'm going to look at a brown off-white to white pages for that book. So definitely another book. Get it while you can. Probably going to be out of the reach of a lot of people. But if you can get a 0 0.5, it's always better to own it than to not. And speaking of lower grades, this is my third copy of this book. Um, my highest grade I had to sell to get this house. But, you know, sometimes you got to part with things to be able to get things. Uh, that was a 6.0. But this is definitely lower. The other one I have, I bought it a 0 0.5, and it came back a 1.8. It was originally graded CGC 0 0.5, um, the other book. And I said there was no way that's a 0 0.5, and it came back a 1.8 like I predicted. Uh, this one, of course, is Daredevil number one, first appearance of Daredevil with his wonderful banana suit, which changed in Daredevil number seven, another key issue to get. But again, I paid even under what a 0 0.5 would be for this book. I paid $462.50, including shipping. Um, I'm going to predict about a 1.5 to a 2.0. Probably going to come out to about a 1.8. But even at a 1.0, I'd be happy with this book. Because like I said, I paid under a 0 0.5. You can see this was ripped off. So that's going to be the major problem, but it's not covering the entire book. It's not covering three-fourths of the book, so that's going to keep it from being a 0 0.5. Um, it does have a little bit of a, um indent here. That's because probably at some point people stacked their books uh, too tightly or f laid them flat, and the side with the staples is always a little thicker, so it compresses, but a dry cleaning can fix that. Now, I also did this, and I think this is very important, especially if you're new to grading, um, the staples are barely hanging on. They're attached, but they're, they're getting close to the point where any kind of major damage could pop them. So I wrote on the back of this book that the staples are barely hanging on. Please be careful, because you don't want to assume that somebody that doesn't own this book who's opening this up and has deadlines and probably has to, you know, grade thousands of comics a day is not going to be as careful as we will be and definitely will not know these things. So don't assume they're going to know or they're going to care. So if you write it down, it may not guarantee that they're going to do anything to fix it, but it definitely increases the probability. So if you have a delicate book, like I said, like mine, where the staples could be detaching and they're barely hanging on or the pages are fra fragile or whatever, don't be afraid to add things on the back of the book. And what I also recommend if you send a bunch of books in, on at least one of the books, if not all, on the back, write your name and address on the back. So if for some reason they lose or you forget to include, you know, the paperwork, they know who the comics belong to. So um, please make sure you do that to at least one of the comics. So again, and again I'm going to say about cream to off-white pages, about a 1.5 to 2.0. Probably going to come back about a 1.8, but we'll find out what the pressing does to it. And those are the four books, Daredevil number one, first Deadpool, uh, Deadpool, first Daredevil, Werewolf by Night 32, first Moon Knight, Rick and Morty number one, Pocket Like You Stole It. That is the Nerd Block Rare Variant. Get that if you can. And last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man number five, 
first appearance of Doctor Doom in Amazing Spider-Man and the first crossover. So those are great books. I'm going to send those out. You'll, they'll probably be out by the time you see this video. Um, don't forget to say, stay until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Also, sign up for the cashback program. It's free to join. And if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get a $10 additional cash back. Link is in the description. So please, if you can, click that link and share that link for me. Because if anybody makes that $25 purchase um, within the first 90 days, I get a $25 one-time referral fee. So it helps my channel. So please, if you could share it at least, I would really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Wait until the end for today's surprise subscriber shout out. Uh, if you want one, just be a subscriber. So hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get notifications of my videos because I tend to do them very randomly. And uh, like the video, share it, hug it, do whatever you got to do. So thank you very much especially to my power viewers, ultra power viewers. And if you want to know what that is, watch a couple of the videos and find out. Check my playlists, and don't forget, it's not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. Thank you as always, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day, and I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cashback program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel Mystery Boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom, and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And MyComicShop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out.